Hey guys, so today I'm here with the new ILMP Arcade Collection. This is a six piece collection of studio color cream polishes ready to take your nail game to the next level. You guys, excuse my morning voice. I had to get up early to record this, so sorry. <laughs> this collection was set to be compliments of ILMP, so thank you ILMP. Let's get right into these. <clears throat> Starting off here, we have the black. This is ink. Ink is a fabulous black polish that is opaque in one coat. One coat, folks. It's fabulous. If you're looking for a nice black, this is a great black. I didn't do any comparisons for this polish just because it's black. So moving right along. Next up, we have Vaporwave. This is one of my faves from this collection. Again, neons are very hard to photograph and take color accurate videos of, but I did color correct this to try to kind of make it look most accurate. That's why it looks kind of blue tone in my swatch photo. I also don't show the pictures in different lighting just because it's really hard to get it accurate in any lighting. So any of the color accurate photos I will be showing here. All that to say, this is a gorgeous two-coater, and I think this one is a must-have. Getting right into comparisons here, I wanted to compare it to Cirque Game Over. Cirque Game Over is more orange. China Glaze Eco Glaze Mountain Flower, I love that polish. It's more pink, as well as Zoya Alley. Those are both more pink, and those are also beautiful polishes to pick up. Okay, next up is Turbo Charge, and the live swatch of this is a little bit less neon than it actually is. If you look at the photo, it really is that bright and that neon. It's so pretty. This is a two-coater. It's easy to apply. You guys, as far as the formula on these, stay tuned to my last swatch. Don't stop watching here because I've got some, I've got some words on the formula. <laughs> and comparisons. So this was actually really close to Cirque Pyro. And then here you can see how it looks next to China Glaze Takes Two to Tango and Orly Artificial Orange. That's not showing up color accurate um, at all. <laughs> but there you can see how they look next to each other. And next up we have Retro Teal. Retro Teal is a gorgeous teal that I did in two coats, but if you do two coats, you do see the nail line in some lighting. So I would typically actually do three coats on this one. Here you can see how it looks in different lighting. And comparisons, I compared it to Essie Roam Around, Essie in the Cabana, and Essie Garden Variety. So you can see how those compare. Next up we have High Score. High Score is a gorgeous blue violet. This is a two coater. It's a gorgeous two coater and I feel like this one was super easy to apply. Here you can see how it looks in different lighting and comparisons. Here we have Essie Preta Surfer, Essie Wink of Sleep, and OPI O. Oh, you sing, dance, act, and I don't know what else you do. <laughs> Produce. That's what else you do. Um, and then the last polish here. I do show my fails on this. So when I first started applying this, I loaded too much polish on the brush. So I did a coat with, with a lighter polish load on it and it ended up being kind of streaky on that first coat. I couldn't even cover the full nail. And then I loaded a little bit more polish on the brush and I got the same thing. So I did have to kind of mess with this one. These aren't necessarily creams that you would think of as being creams. I would call these more Crellies. So if you guys are looking for a true cream, keep that in mind. These are Crellies. They are beautiful colors and great polishes. You just need to know what you're getting. So like I said, they are more of a crelly finish. And then here you can see how that pink looks in different lighting and comparisons. Here we have OPI Nature Strong and Flowered, Essie All Dolled Up and Essie Slumber Party On. And you guys, party on on this gorgeous Friday. All right, have a great day. Love y'all. Bye.